everyone this is Laura and welcome to my channel today I have some more Christmas car share for you guys um, last year I purchased this joy to the woods lawn fawn Christmas stamp set and I have to tell you I had this on my wish list for a few, for a while and last year every time I kept um, looking for the stamp set it was sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. I was so upset because I really, really wanted the stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Um, number one, because of the trees. And number two, because of the little cardinal. And the other thing I fell in love with about the stamp set was these little footprints. I just loved them. I don't know why. Um, so I had been eyeballing this, I want to say, from last summer. Since last summer. And like I said, no matter where I went, when I finally um, went to purchase them, sold out, sold out, sold out. That's what I got for months. Needless to say, made my Christmas cards, um, still could not find the set right after Christmas. And I mean right after Christmas, right before New Year's, they were available for sale. And I actually picked them up. I picked up the stamp set and the die set and I said you know what guys no problem I didn't get to use them this year but you know what next Christmas is right around the corner now mind you this is right before New Year's <laughs> this is what I just this is what I said to myself to justify the purchase uh, I'll use them for next year it's right around the corner it'll be here before you know it well you know what even though I was justifying the purchase I was right and here we are Christmas in July and August for me and I first first stamp set I grabbed before I grabbed anything else to create Christmas cards I said I am going to make my Christmas cards and I am going to use the stamp set for sure for sure I don't know how many cards I'm going to make using the stamp set but this is going to get so much use this Christmas um, and so I did make some cards. Um, one of the things that I am trying really hard to do this year from now until the end of the year, for the summer I'm going to complete, I'm going to completely try to do it a, a no spending freeze. But then following no, September, October and November I am going to try my darndest. That unless it's something I absolutely need. Unless I feel I'm going to have a heart attack and die if I don't get something. <laughs> it would have to be something like the most beautiful fairy uh, Christmas stamp came out or something like that. But anyways, I am trying really hard um, on purchasing what I need and not what I want. And I know we're all on the same bandwagon. And But I, I am really making a really big effort to, to do it and stick to it. And, and not cheat. That's what I'm trying to do. Not cheat. So, one of the things that I love to do when I'm in this mind frame is go through my scrapbook room, go through my stashes, and see what have I purchased that I have not used yet. And this was the first thing, like I said, that came to mind. Purchased this last year. Actually, yeah, it was last year. It was towards the very end of the year, right before um, New Year's. Purchased the stamp and I never got to use it, not once the whole Christmas of last year never used it so this year I get to use it I get to play with it and for me it's like having a brand new stamp set and a brand new die set so it kind of kills the urge of wanting to go out there and buy a new stamp set and buy a new die set to make Christmas cards this year because technically it's new although it's not new it is new because I've never used it and you know I know I'm jibber jabbering <laughs> I, I think you guys get the get the message so I created two cards. The first one is a five and a half by five and a half card. Um, I did use this shimmery paper that my sister had gifted me quite some time. I don't even know the color. I know it is by Basil. Um, and I love this paper. It's so strong and thick. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Um, I used my Diamond Dice Nesting Counter Cross Stitch Die Set. Um, I did create a, a frame um, using some old Christmas papers that I really wanted to use that I got in some Happy Mail. I've had them in my 
um, stash for quite some time. Finally got some use out of that. Um, I did cut this frame out and I also cut it out of foam. Um, fun foam and then I glued it together just to give it some dimension. I did not make this into a sticker card but I did want to have like a dimensional framed card. Um, so I used the pattern paper. I have the little square die cut here and out here to create the frame. I added, I colored everything with my Copics. I added the branches in the background. Here I have the little cute little birdhouse, which I also colored with my Copics. I did put a lot of stickles on everything. Again, my little cardinal I colored with my Copics. Here I added some little red flowers that I had in my stash. These are some acrylic gem flowers that I purchased on eBay. The little fox, I have him here. This is one of the Lawn Fawn Rolling Hills dies. Um, I cut that out of white cardstock and then I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on the white cardstock, but it's white, but it isn't. It's, I've um, distressed the edges of it with the iced spruce, I think it's called. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's not iced spruce. It's evergreen bow. I always get those two confused. I do not know why, because one is a green and one is a gray. <laughs> but this is the one. It's evergreen bow. Love, 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 love that color. I distressed all the edges of the uh, little hill, the trees, and the actual card itself. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I also have a white, um, a white piece of cardstock border around the frame. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but here are the little footprints that I stamped out of the little fox that I added stickles to. I don't know what it is about these little footprints that I enjoy so much on this card, but I do. And then on the inside, I have some more of that pattern paper. Again, my counter cross stitch die from Diamond Dies, um, the square die with the Merry Christmas inside. And this also came from the stamp set. And everything that I used on my card came from that one stamp set. I didn't want to use any other stamp sets in combination with. I just wanted to create two cards, quick, fast, and easy using this one stamp and die set. Um, and then the other card I made kind of looks just like this one, but not. This one I used the little fox and the birdhouse. This one, more of the ornaments. And I have a little bit more detail with this one. With this one, I don't have it on foam. Um, it's more of a flat card. Um, it is a six by six card. The background, I actually colored in with this um, evergreen bow. This is a this was a white background, and then in the back, I just want to grab it. I don't know if you guys can see the background here. I actually used this stamp, which is by also by Lawn Fawn, and I think it's called Let It Snow, and it's a um, it has like the little snowflakes and the little stars. Well, I embossed it in the background. First, I stamped it out with my Yeti ink, which is a pigment ink by Lawn Fawn as well. And what happened was, for me, it didn't pop out enough. I wanted a, a, a much brighter white. So, since it was a pigment ink, I decided to use some of this clear, not clear, white embossing powder. And this was sent to me by some a friend and some friend mail. It's white embossing powder and I don't know if you guys can see that now but it not only gave it that little pop that I wanted it also added a whole bunch of texture to the background which I'm completely in love with. Then I used my warm grays to color in all the birch trees in the stamp set. I colored them in with my Copics. I cut them out. Had lots of fun with that. Then the little ornaments I also colored in with my Copics. Um, I added some stickles to the little ornaments, added them to the trees and the little cardinal. Here I have the little squirrel, cut, colored him, cut him out, have a little ornament in his hand. In the background here I have these two rolling hills against, again these are two lawn fawn dies. Um, they look like this. These are them, these are the ones that I used on my card. And then I distressed it with my evergreen bow distressing. I added a little red ribbon 
and a little flower um, at the bottom of the card. And again, I use my Diamond Dice Counted Cross Stitch die for this. Um, and I also used it to cut out the square on the inside to frame the card. And then on the inside of the card, again, Merry Christmas from the same stamp set. Um, white Counted Cross Stitch square to write a little note some ribbon and some pattern paper to finish the card. So those are my two cards that I made. I hope to make a few more using this stamp set. I really, really, really love um, the little ornaments and the trees. I'm just so, so happy that I finally um, picked up this stamp set after looking for it almost the whole of last year. And I'm even more happier that I finally was able to use it and even more happier than that <laughs> I'm glad I was able to create these cards way before Christmas and um, maybe I'll have a little breathing room this year now we'll see let's see how many more I can make so guys come join me if you would like um, I'm going to challenge all my friends out there to continue making those Christmas cards um, they don't have to be just in July we can do them in August as well um, and if you don't want to make a Christmas card I challenge you to go in your scrapbook pool and find a stamp set that you purchased but never used and create something and share with me that link if you'd like or just let me know hey um, you know, I'm doing it too. I'm going to create something using a stamp I never used. And I would love to see what you guys used and made. <laughs> so thank you all for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your lovely sweet comments. And thank you for spending so much time with me today. I know I chit chat quite a bit. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you've been inspired to go look for a nice little stamp set that maybe you didn't use yet. Um, thank you and have a blessed day. Bye for now.